All right, guys, look at this. Oh. Well, I'm all fishy you now, and the car is all fishy. I'm headed to, I'm headed to the barber shop right now. And he just fished me up. Look at his size to me. I have no way to weigh him, but pretty good sized one. Oh, the lure is still inside of him. You know what that means? My line broke as soon as I got him out of the water. It wasn't a pretty, it wasn't a very long fight. Just about a minute and a half or so. See these guys, they get tired really fast. And um, after that, um, you can pretty much do what you want with them. Um, there's a lot of brush, a lot of bramble in the corner of the trench. So it's pretty hard to get him out with all of his strength. So when you're fighting them to get him out of the water, if you try to get them out too early, he broke the line and he would have gotten away and another bad thing that would have happened he would have gotten away with the lure in his mouth so and this lure is so small hey you want to go from this lure is so small that it would be impossible for him to get it out spit it out so it would have killed him I have five fingers, eight fingers and two thumbs <laughs> and it's giving me a hard time to get it out, much less him. Alright guys, this video will be up on YouTube and um, I'll have a link to, to, to lures like this that you can use to go tarpon fishing and um, the next time you see me here, I want to try to get a tarpon commonly known in Guyana as a kofum. I want to try to get one on a six weight fly rod I'm going to use floating line for that and um, try to use some kind of a nymph or a streamer because I don't want to use a fly but I'll try to get one with um, a floating line on a six weight fly, fly rod Hey you want to go from? I hope you live Because he lost a lot of blood. There's blood all over the car. You know, this is the second time I use this lure. And all two times, I caught a pretty good sized star pan on. So check the link in the description on YouTube for this and other lures like it.